right, everybody. I'm out here in the garage this morning, and boy, I'll tell you what, it's another beautiful day outside. My wife and I are heading to a cruise in tomorrow morning in Petersburg, Indiana, which is about an hour away, and the registration is from 8 to 12, and I think the awards are 2, but uh, they're an hour ahead of us, so that means we got to leave out of here early in the morning. <clears throat> but uh, I wanted to jump on here early this morning and get this video out. This is a uh, this is the uh, Mobius kit, the 1964 Chevy 2 Nova Resto Mod. Uh, it's a, I think it's their last release of this uh, 64 Chevy 2 Nova. And this is the uh, for the Street Machine Group build uh, that Jason's putting on over at uh, Blue Ox Model Shop. And I uh, wanted to jump on here and show y'all what I got. So let's take a gander at it, fellas. All right, let me drag this up here a little bit. I think it came out awesome. I really like this kit. This uh, Now, I had to paint this twice. The first time around, uh, I just didn't care for the, the way the paint came out. So, I uh, sanded her down. Started, I think I started at, at about 4,000 and worked my way down to 12,000. And, uh, and then I cleaned her all up and uh, reshot her again. And it came out a lot better the second time around. Now this is the paint that I use. This is the uh, Tamiya's acrylic paint, the X7. Beautiful, beautiful looking red paint. And then of course you all know I use the, the uh, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. Now, you know, I've been having some issues here uh, of the paint fully curing out or, the, or the, the clear, you know, when I shoot the clear on and I mix it uh, uh, basically 50-50 with the Mr. Color Leveling Thinner and even putting the body in my dehydrator, the paint is, uh, or the clear, is just not fully curing out, and you can get fingerprints on it. So I think the next time around, when I paint a body, I'm going to try to me as uh, thinner that they recommend and see if that does any different. I don't know. I just, uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. The, uh, now, <laughs> since I... Well, let me say, this is basically box stock except for the wheels and tires that came out of the parts box, and I wired the engine. Now, since I went with these wheels and tires, uh, they weren't going to fit up underneath those fenders, so I had to cut the rear axle housing down quite a bit to get those tires up underneath there, and uh, also the front, I had to ditch the stock spindles and uh, make my own and s set them in a lot closer uh, to the chassis there so I could get those front wheels up underneath there and uh, Now these are red line tires. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but uh, uh, I just when I saw those red line tires. I just knew those were for this uh, Kit they just look really good Now <laughs> Let's talk about the bare metal foil on this thing. There is a ton of it and This Bare metal foil. I went out and bought a brand new pack before I started this, and this pack, I don't know what it is about that bare metal foil, but when you put it on, uh, it it sticks really well, maybe too much now, and when you go to peel it off, uh, your excess, after you make your, your cut with your exacto knife, and you go to peel that excess off, it leaves a nasty residue, and uh, you can get it off. Uh, I was using the... Uh, Meguiar's uh, fine cut cleaner to get it off uh, But it's just a, a chore especially in these little areas like here It's just a chore and then the uh, the excess trying to get that excess bare metal foil off there trying to pick it off with a toothpick It's a it, it's a real chore. So I'm not sure what uh, they've got going on uh, with this batch of bare metal foil, but uh, boy, it's sure uh, Not like the good old stuff was a few years ago but I, like I said, there is a ton of chrome on this car, and it, boy, I'll tell you what, it, it really tests my patience there at times, And uh, but I got her done, and I, I think it looks okay. I painted the inside. The interior's all been painted with uh, the, uh, to me, is TS uh, rattle can paint. It's the uh, semi-gloss black. I think it just looked really, I really like the uh, black interior in these cars. 
I just think it looks so cool. Uh, the uh, We're here where it says uh, Nova SS. I think Matt over on his channel uh, mentioned uh, about uh, shaving those off because I don't know if it was the embossed lettering on the body or the decals. One of the two was, was too big and it just didn't work out right. So I shaved them off and then uh, put the decals on them. They, they worked out fine. Now let me pop her over on the bottom here and we'll take a look at the bottom. Like I said, I uh, had to shorten that rear housing, axle housing, and then the spindles up front. I, I ditched the stock ones, had to make my own. But uh, that all came out pretty good. Guys, if you give me a minute here, I'm going to pop that hood off. takes two hands, so I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look down inside the engine bay here. You can see uh, this is all basically stock except for the the uh, plug wires, uh, the uh, radiator hoses, the top and bottom, those are, uh, I use a, I've got some old wire that I found that's a, the perfect size, and that's what I use. And then uh, the clamps that are on there are made out of bare metal foil, but uh, it's basically all stock in there. Looks good. Uh, I think that's probably an old 327. I don't know why Mobius would, would make this and label it as a resto mod. Uh, it would have been better if they would have stuck an LS down in here instead of that old small block 327. Uh, and, you know, it's still got the uh, stock interior, so I don't don't know why they call it a resto mod, but uh, <clears throat> I kind of turned it into one by putting the wheels and tires and everything on it, and then uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, at least the engine, it, it is not stock. It's a... But I think it turned out pretty good. Now, <clears throat> there's the red line tires. Well, they look good, don't they? They uh, really make that uh, match up with the red on the body. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that bare metal foil was a chore. That, there was there was so much bare metal foil that I had to put on this thing that uh, just. Even handling it, I tried to handle it initially with a uh, microfiber uh, rag. I was holding the body, but when I when I did that, I had it over on its back, and it left on the top of the car imprints of that microfiber cloth, which you look at it. Now, I had to work and work and rub and rub to, to get that all out of there, but I did get it out, but boy, I tell you what, I rubbed so much, I was about to bring that genie out of the bottle. I rubbed so much, I think. <laughs> But, fellas, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I really like it. Uh, Jason, I appreciate you putting on this group build. Uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, I enjoyed building this kit. It's a great kit. So uh, I think that's where we're going to leave her, fellas. All right, I'm done.